So let's speed ahead. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to set up some IK for our arm. Now, actually for our two arms. So now at this point, instead of rigging the whole body, I'm going to cheat. So what I've done is I've just dropped in the rigged prefab, right? Which has just got the whole body rigged up so we don't have to spend time doing the legs and the other arm and everything. Um, just saving us some time. You saw the, the principles there and it would be the same kind of steps, just taking a long time on the stream. Now, what we wanna do is we are going to create a new empty game object called IK. This will be a holder object. And then we're gonna create an empty child, which is gonna be the left IK target. We're gonna add a component to this, which is going to be, if we just search for IK, it's gonna be the IK limb 2D. And then we're gonna drag a reference to our bone, which is gonna be the left arm two in there. Now, in this case, let's undo that. I had the uh, target in the wrong place, right? We can see it is solving, uh, but it's just in the wrong place. So let's go ahead and fix that, drop it in. And now make sure we're not using the rec tool that we're actually using the move tool. And now we can see Little bit of a sorting issue there, right? Going behind the body, we can fix that. Maybe we'll fix that quickly. But we can move our arm and it will, woo, hi guys, hi there. Um, it will solve uh, the pose in a kind of an arm-like way. So let's fix our sorting issues. Basically, we just want, what's, what's in front of this? It's just the foot and the midriff, so. Let's select the midriff and let's just push this back even further. Oh, the pelvis is gonna to have to go back further too. Negative four, negative five. I'm gonna to have to push everything back. Negative six. I had to do a lot of this while I was getting getting this together and still didn't push them all far enough back. Oh, this will be, let's just push them back negative seven. Get a little gimpy there, this will be negative six. Uh, there we go. Okay, now that should be okay. Let's move the target. Yes. Uh, still going behind his torso. Well, that's only negative two. Negative four. <laughs> still slightly broken. That's okay. Rip. All right, there we go. Now we can swing his arm in front of his body, um, and we can see that that works. So let's go ahead and add another target right IK target, and this we're gonna position over here, and we're gonna add again our IK limb 2D, and we're gonna drag a reference to right arm two. Make sure we have the move tool selected, and there we go again, a little sorting jankiness. Uh, but I'm actually not gonna be moving the arm this way in the animation, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Of course, we can sort that out later on. Okay, great. So let's, let me just save this as IK. Boom. And so in the next segment, what we're gonna do is just add some very simple animation to this based on the bones and the IK targets that we've set up. Uh, Jeremy Dorn mentions, about moving the arms behind the character. Yeah, if it was trying to kind of put its arms behind its back, you could totally do it. Uh, you can manipulate all of the sorting order stuff via script, um, and you can use sorting groups and some other stuff to get a lot of control over it. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit simple here.